All right, so I've got 13 new companies that are always hiring remote jobs. And the best thing is most of these require little to no experience. So whether you're somebody who's kind of just looking for a part-time thing or you're looking for a full-time job, you're probably gonna find one on this list. And the first one is going to be a customer solutions associate working for ancestry.com. And basically you're gonna be helping people discover their origins, find ancestors, and also find relatives. And Ancestry is a renowned genealogy company that's been helping people do this for decades. Now, as a customer solutions associate, you will be playing kind of a customer service type role, but on top of that, you will be working more closely with the person and recommending different services based on their needs. And you can earn bonuses based off of your performance and those services. So according to glassdoor.com, customer solutions associates make $24 an hour plus $10 an hour in additional pay. So for a total of $34 per hour. So this is a legit opportunity with an established company for the right type of person. So if you're the type of person who's sort of like a detective and you like solving puzzles and figuring things out and helping other people in the process, this might be a great option for you. And you can go to careers.ancestry.com in order to start applying. This one gets a score of 8.5 out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a fully remote job. And by fully remote, I mean you can work anywhere in the world. It's not just work from home or work from a coffee shop. You can literally work all the way across the world if you want to. As long as you have an internet connection, you're good to go. And this is going to be a benefits analyst for Innovalon. Now, Innovalon is an established company with a long track record of providing healthcare related solutions. And basically, what you're going to be doing is helping businesses make informed decisions about their employee benefits program. And benefits analysts at Innovalon Novalon make about $66,000 a year. Now this position does prefer that you have a bachelor's degree, but it doesn't require it. And it's definitely going to be best for you if you're very familiar with Excel and other data analysis tools. But from my experience, this is one of those positions where you do not need a college degree. And as long as you have a good portfolio that shows that you do know how to work with data, you'll be good to go. This one is gonna get an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is gonna be great for you if you like perusing different forums such as Reddit, or if you like spending time in different social media groups on places like Facebook or Discord. And that is going to be a mod contractor for Mod Squad. And Mod Squad provides services for businesses such as content moderation and community management. Now the range for pay here goes from about $8 per hour up to $20 per hour. And to land a position, you just go to their website and search the job portal. Now it is easier to land a position right before the holidays because that's typically when they start hiring a lot. So in the next few months after posting this video, they're probably going to start hiring. So overall, this one I'm gonna give an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. The next one is going to be great for you if you'd like to be a professional guinea pig except without all the fur and the squeaking. That's right, you can actually get paid to test products and that is being a test user at testing time. And basically they partner with different companies and then test users come in and test different products, websites, or apps. And then you share your feedback on the products and you might give them tips on how they can improve them. Now testing time is an international company although most of the products are based in Europe. And if you go on the website they claim it takes less than five minutes to sign up. So basically you're just gonna tell them about yourself and then they will send you products related to your interests. So they'll invite you for these products and if you choose to review them, you'll pick a day and a time that suits you. Each gig takes about one hour and you'll typically earn somewhere between 10 and $25. Now this is not something that you're gonna be able to do full time just with testingtime.com, but there are a bunch of other different user testing related websites such as usertesting.com. And if you sign up to a bunch of different ones, you probably could make full time money. But overall, this is more of a side job slash just make a little bit of money on the side sort of thing. So for that reason, I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is a company that's always hiring. And in this particular case, I'm gonna be talking about the position of billing specialist. And the company is going to be ABC Fitness. And this is a company that is a leading provider of billing and software solutions in the fitness industry. And on their main page, they say that they can help gyms grow by up to 30%. And client billing analysts have an average salary of about $58,000 per year. So in order to get hired, you can apply directly to the website or through job portals. Then you may be invited to an interview and there's probably is going to be a technical assessment. Then there's going to be training on how to use the company's different billing processes and technology. So overall, this one gets an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be great if you're a detail oriented person, because you can become a premium auditor and you can work for the company Affirm. And in this case, specifically, you will be auditing insurance policies. And as a premium auditor, you can make around $37 per hour. Hour. Now, one thing I do want to mention, just in case you haven't watched my other videos, is for a lot of these positions, they do say that they prefer, you know, maybe a college degree or they prefer previous experience. Sometimes they might even say that they require it. But if you're familiar with my channel, you'll be able to identify the job postings where a requirement 
isn't really a real requirement. And in many cases, you can land a job anyways, if you do the right things and if you have a good portfolio. So it's always worth it to give it a try, but it is gonna be a little bit harder to land this job. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next company on the list is one that's growing insanely fast and they're basically always hiring. And that's gonna be crowdstrike.com. Now there's many roles you can apply for, but the specific role I'm gonna be covering is the customer value manager. And this is an extremely advanced leading cybersecurity company. And their mission statement is, we don't have a mission statement. We're on a mission to stop breaches. That's pretty cool. And not only are they hiring really fast, but they also have really good reviews online from their current employees. So to apply, you can just go to their official website and then click join our talent community. Now this one does pay really well, but it does have some of the toughest requirements. So this one is better if you're already in an established career. So for that reason, I'll give it an opportunity score of six out of 10. But if you're an established career, this one might be a 10 out of 10 for you. So Belay is a virtual staffing solutions company that connects skilled remote professionals with businesses for different roles such as social media manager. Now this one also has really good ratings online. It's a company that's growing really quickly and they pay about $52,000 a year for the position of social media manager, but there's a lot of other positions that they hire for as well. Now in order to apply for it, you just go to their website and click start application. And they're accepting applications for United States citizens in all states except for California, Montana, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. The next one on the list might be great for you if you've ever wanted to save lives while wearing pajamas at the same time. And that's being a healthcare customer service representative for Alorica. Now this one has over 115,000 employees from 17 different countries. And they manage the customer service for many of the biggest brands in the world. Now, according to Glassdoor, the employees estimated pay is around $18 per hour. But keep in mind, that's for people from the United States. So it's probably gonna be a little bit different in other countries. Overall, this one gets an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is going to be a vision care company called 1-800-contacts.com. And they're gonna be hiring hiring people for chat support. Now requirements here are either a GED or high school diploma, and you have to type at at least 35 words per minute. And this is a super fast growing company that sells vision related products. And they were actually ranked as the number 21 best mid-sized employer to work for by Forbes. Now, according to Glassdoor, this position pays about $19 per hour. And on top of that, it offers really good benefits. So this one is gonna get an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Now the next one on the list is going to be Sutherland Global, which is a BP. PO. That stands for Business Process Outsourcing. This is a company that also hires worldwide. And the position they're hiring for is Customer Service Representative. It also has really good reviews online. And according to Glassdoor, the position pays about $16 an hour. And in order to apply, you just go to their website, go to careers, and then they'll actually have a job board where you can search different jobs that are open. This place has a ton of employees and it's growing super fast. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score as well. The next one on the list is going to be working as a sales development representative for the company company, Canonical. And this is a company that specializes in open source software, such as cloud technologies. And as a sales development representative, you would be building relationships with other companies that might want to use this company's products. Now, SDR is one of those careers that I've talked about a ton of times on this channel that has the most opportunity, especially at the entry level. And by the way, a lot of these careers you can get into without any experience or any college degree, etc. But with SDR, it does help to have a little bit of training. And I will put a free training to what I recommend to getting into SDR. I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel who have used this company. It's called Course Careers. And I'll also leave some other free trainings down below to other companies that I really like as well. Now, according to Indeed, sales representatives at Canonical make about $48,000 a year. But this is one of those jobs where you can get your foot in the door in the technology industry and even better getting your foot in the door in the cloud industry because that has a ridiculous amount of opportunity. This one gets a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is gonna be great for you if you're fluent in English and you like teaching people. And this one can be done as a full-time job, a part-time job, or just to make a little bit of extra money on the side. And that's gonna be an online teacher at QKids. And QKids teaches over 1 million international learners English. They allow you to work from home anywhere in the US or Canada. There's flexible hours, which you get to set yourself. And it pays 12 to $16 per hour. And once you advance, you can make up to $20 per hour. Now this one had really good ratings and reviews online. And one of the greatest things about it is it really does not require all that much skill. Basically, you just have to be fluent in English. This one gets a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, I did a tier list where I rank the best entry level jobs from S tier, which is the best to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.